everybody, this is Andre with GarageDoorGuidance.com. I just want to do a quick, easy video on how to do a little manual slide lock, just like we have pictured here. Um, it's very easy. I mean, this thing just slides in and out, just like that, in order for you to be able to secure your door in case of a power outage. Uh, maybe you just want it just for a little extra security. Very simple. Most garage doors have this little slot here specifically for that see on the other side here and very simple all you really need are these little two self-tapping screws here you can see the little heads on those um, for those of you who don't know what self-tappers are anyhow and a 7 16 socket which will be going ahead and using that to drill these into there very simple now one thing with this though you never want it to stick out too far into the socket here for example you got that in there you don't want to put this like that or even like this because when you pull that back out the little head will still stick out past the panel and what that's going to cause is as it comes up it will actually get stuck inside of these inside of the rails itself and it'll cause a bunch of issues for you so all you do, just line it up, just kind of best you can. See something like I usually do something like right there, just enough to where it sticks out and gets it locked, but not enough so that it gets stuck. So you just put a screw on the top and the bottom. And that's it. Go ahead and do that for you real quick. Just set the camera down here. There you can see they already had a little jerry rigged lock, but uh, we went ahead and took that off so we could get this video. Let's go ahead and pop that on there for us. Like I said, I put I usually put the screw all ready for me, just like that. Got my drill, my impact wrench, pop it through. And like I said, you bring it out just so you get enough. Just like that. Very simple. Like I said, see it sticks out right there. You've got your two screws holding it down, nice, nice and sturdy like. Like I said, you pull that out. You can see the little head here. It doesn't stick out past the panel, so you won't have any issues. Now, if you've got a manual garage door, uh, you don't have to do anything. Just leave it as is. But if you do have an opener, and this isn't going to be a very frequently used option, just put a bolt here through this hole or make one if you have to with another self tapping screw and with that what that'll do is it'll prevent it from ever accidentally getting locked in or if you put it locked in yourself and forget you won't have an issue with it later on um, and you'll only use it when you absolutely need to so that's definitely something you will want to do um, we picked up this part on Amazon you could also get these parts on uh, Home Depot or Lowe's anywhere like that and they'll definitely do job just fine. We'll include a link down below with the uh, to our website where you can actually order these parts and many more. Um, and uh, that's about it I think. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like and a comment. Um, please subscribe. It definitely helps us out. Yeah, like I said, just check out the video, our other videos. And we'll keep updating you on new videos whenever they come out. And of course, if you got a request, go ahead and uh, Leave a comment, and we'll try to get a video uh, to your request as soon as we can. Thank you for watching. This has been Andre with GarageDoorGuidance.com. Have a great day.